Blue Sky Plan now allows the completely automatic segmentation of teeth, jaws, impacted teeth, nerves, airways, and our newest addition, implants as well. We can see in this CT scan, we have three implants in the upper jaw and four implants in the lower jaw, and they have all been segmented completely automatically by Blue Sky Plan. In this training tutorial, I will demonstrate this functionality and how simple and easy it is to use in the software. We are currently offering this in Blue Sky Plan, completely free, at no charge, accessible to everybody. I will demonstrate the flow of how to get to the segmentation functionality and how to use it. Our new version of Blue Sky Plan has an improved look and feel. The segmentation functionality is in the Model Master module. The user is also automatically taken to the Model Master module when they start implant planning and surgical guides or a crown and bridge or dentures or other modules. The user is first taken to Model Master module to align the data sets, to manipulate and edit data sets. So you could either click a Model Master as we're going to do now, or if you're going to be doing a different flow, then take note of this. When you start the process, you'll be taken first to Model Master where you could take advantage of the segmentation functionality. So I'm going to click on Model Master and I will choose the CT scan option. We now organize all the data across all of our digital products according to the patient and according to the treatment the patient is in for. So I'm going to select a patient from the list. If I'm adding a new patient, I could click Create New Patient. And then I will either select the treatment from the list on the bottom or I could click Create New Treatment. If you need to edit or modify, either the patient details or the treatment, click on the pencil icon to the left. I will now click Next. I will select the relevant data set. I have the shortcut buttons across the top. Blue Sky Plan loads compressed icons, uncompressed icons, zipped, unzipped. So select the relevant folder or file and then click the OK button. Confirm the relevant series. The the DICOM set is being loaded, and now we're being prompted to define the field of view. So usually I explain to users to use your left mouse button to grab and drag any of the borders to define the relevant field of view. Keep in mind that if you're going to be segmenting the jaws and the airway, for example, then you need to import the entire relevant parts of the CT scan for the relevant segmentation. So I'm not going to limit the field of view in this situation. I'm just going to click the OK button. We have the option of importing additional data sets as well, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to click Next. We're not going to be merging any additional data sets, so I'm going to close this. And on the right side, we now have the segmentation panel. If the segmentation panel is not available and does not appear on the right side of the screen, go to the drop-down list of all the panels and select segmentation. We're going to look at the automatic jaw segmentation, which gives us access to the functionality right here to decide what we're going to be segmenting. So I'm going to choose the maxilla, the mandible, and the airways. I have an option here of don't merge teeth and jaw models, which if this is checked as it is now, we're going to have a separate object, a separate STL file for each individual tooth and each individual jaw. If I uncheck this checkbox, then we will have one file that includes the jaw and the teeth for that jaw, and a separate file for the jaw and the teeth for the opposing arch. So you can decide which option you would like to select, either to check or uncheck the checkbox. For our demonstration, I'm going to keep the checkbox checked. We could see in our panoramic view that we have multiple implants on the upper arch and multiple implants on the lower arch. And of course, we have our teeth and jaws. At this point, I'm going to click once to start the automatic segmentation. A single click and the entire process will run. Now, this does take a couple of minutes to run. The software is going to go tooth by tooth, jaw by jaw, the airways, the nerves, the impacted teeth, the implants, and it's going to perform an automatic segmentation. But what's incredible is that it's going to run completely automatically. So. Give it the couple minutes that it will take, depending on your computer's resources. On my computer, it takes around two minutes to finish the entire process. I'm going to pause the video to save everybody's time. And once the segmentation is complete, we can see that we're starting to see in the 3D and in the 2D, the results of the segmentation. 
once the segmentation is complete, then I will resume the video. Okay, so this is the result of our completely automatic segmentation. I'm going to switch over to the surfaces panel, or I could select it from the panel list dropdown, and let's take a look at the results. So first of all, I'm going to hide the CT scan so we could see just the results of the segmentation. We have in our surfaces list all of the different surfaces that resulted from the segmentation. You could click on a particular surface, use the transparency slider to make it transparent. Let's do that for our jaws. We also have the capability with a single button here to hide maxilla CT teeth or mandible CT teeth. We could also click on any checkbox to toggle the visibility of that item on and off. We see in the 2D views the outlines, which is our hint. So we could show or hide all the hints. We could use the column name to toggle everything on and off together. And we also have the nerve segmentation as we have here. And we could see the implants have been segmented in the upper and lower arches. And we have a button, hide CT implants, that could toggle all of those on and off as well. The resulting STL files are separate objects and they can be imported from the software as well. I'm going to quickly delete all of our objects here and I'll run the segmentation without separating the teeth and the jaws. Segmentation, we'll keep these checkboxes checked and I will uncheck don't merge teeth and jaw models. Start automatic segmentation and we'll see the results in a minute. Okay, so here we see the results of the segmentation with the box not checked. If we go to the surfaces panel, our CT is turned off, and now we have just three surfaces, one for the airways, one for the mandible model and teeth, and one for the maxilla model and teeth.